You know, it never seems to amaze me, especially on this trip, that I drive by a stadium hoping that something's going on or just hoping to get a look at it. And the next thing I know, I'm at an old AAA ballpark with some kind of game going on. This is the former home of the Toledo Mudheads. Ned Skelton Stadium hasn't been used in decades, but we're gonna see what the heck's going on here. I've never been to this ballpark and apparently it's still being used for amateur baseball. So let's see what's going on here. Well, you can't get in from the main entrance, but you can get in through the left field entrance. And here is the former ballpark of the Mudheads with baseball being played. I don't know what kind of baseball, but I'm just walking onto the field acting like I own the place. Now here are the grandstands, which I have heard have been condemned. Here, that looks like it has seen some better days. And there's the right field grandstand. Those seats look like they've seen better days. But the field, it looks like it's in nice condition. And uh, I don't know, I don't think that's the original scoreboard, but that's a new one. Yeah. Over 45 league? Yep. Perfect. How many teams? Seven. Awesome. All right, well, over 45. That's. I was surprised to see baseball going on here. Yeah, here, these seats are for whoever, so if you want to okay. sit and... Thank you. Yeah. I was driving back to Indianapolis, but I may hang out. Really? Yeah. yeah. I tour ballparks. Oh, do you? And I have never been at this ballpark in my life. Now, are the, uh, oh no, you can go in the grandstands. No. You can, I see people there. Well, Maybe you're not they're. supposed to, I uh, guess. But look at, look at that press box there. That's seen some better days. Right? <laughs> I'm trying to tear it down, but. Oh. These guys are like, no. I could see maybe converting it. Yeah. But I know that takes money, and it's easy for me and you to say, yeah, convert right, it. Right, right. Uh, to my wife, there's a 63-year-old playing baseball here every Sunday. Yeah. So she complains about me playing my kickball. <laughs> so you come out here a lot to watch the games? I do. Yes. Yep. Enjoy it. There you go. Say hi. Hello. Say welcome to Ned Skelton Stadium. Yeah, welcome. That was the visitors, actually. There are the seats. Look how far that goes back. In the game? Yeah. How's it going? You guys like playing here? Love it. I didn't never knew this place was still being used for baseball. It is. Yep. All right. We've been a here ever since the Mudhens left. Nice. 20, it's been 20 years. This yeah, year. it has been. All right. Well, I'll make sure I keep my eye on the ball. There's the old grandstand right there. I'm taking my life in my hands here. Is it Wood Bat League? Yeah, I'm behind this thing because I don't want a ball hitting me in the face or busting up another pinky. I only have two of them. Coming in, coming in. Look at these guys playing baseball the way we did when we were kids, and these guys are around my age or older. And here are the socks. Love those uniforms. Look at them. Great. Where'd you get your uniforms done by? Uh, I did them actually. They're beautiful. Oh, nice job. We're gonna go up on the concourse if we can. <laughs> and here is the old concourse that uh, used to bring a lot of memories to fans here and still brings in some fans. 
today. Little stark reminder of the, the mud heads. Never thought I was going to be at the old ballpark here, uh, Ned Skelton Stadium. Uh, I thought those days were over. It was going to be knocked down. They were going to condemn it. But here I am. Here I am actually watching baseball. So I can say that this is another ballpark I've watched baseball in. I'm going to sit in one of these seats that thousands of people would watch the Mudheads uh, from, I think, 1966 to <coughs> early 2000. Here's our bird's eye view of the game. Wow, look at that. And you can see up there that uh, the padding is wearing off and looks like World Series Champions 2007. I don't know who those guys are. And there's an American flag. Kind of, let's get back to the action. And you can see the uh, concrete is chipping away. This old TV antenna fell down. I won't walk too far. I'm sure people are wondering what the heck's going on, but here's a beautiful view of the field. And like I said, this was minor league baseball for 35 years here in Toledo. We're actually outside of Toledo. Uh, but look how they built these ballparks. I mean, here was your press box. It was two, le two levels. I want to say this was a racetrack at one time, converted into a baseball stadium. Not 100% sure, but something just being out here is just very peaceful watching, watching the game. Uh, also, you got this huge covered grandstand. I mean, that takes up how many rows of seats? Amazing, utterly amazing. For me, maybe not for you. But let me know. Let me know if you ever watched baseball here. Let me let me know if you grew up watching baseball in Toledo and this was your summer home. Uh, here's the wood, which, you know, probably is not the safest. But at least we don't have bat feces like we do in Shreveport. And there's the concourse. We'll take a sneak peek to see what's going on here. I think things are closed off. Probably the concourse was out there. I don't know if this was at it or, you know, or I don't know if the concourse was here. But everything's kind of overgrown. Overgrown trees, plants, weeds. Relatively clean, but I can only imagine how much money this costs to keep up. Can they turn two? No. I even caught a foul ball. <laughs> Not hard when there's five people in a 10,000 seat stadium. <laughs> but this is great. It's great that they let them play here every Sunday. I'm former minor league ballpark that hasn't been knocked down. Some, some get knocked down very easily. Others kind of hang around and, you know, who knows what the future for this place will be. But for right now, as of this recording, it is used for baseball 45 and up, and I don't know if it's used for anything else. Another walk. Oh, here's, you know, and, and here's like, here's a facet like, this was an entranceway at one time to the stadium. Get a better look. <laughs> like that is, that looks so archaic. There you go, slow roller to pitcher. And he's out at first. That's it. So here's a better look at the concourse. Not much going on today, but 25 years ago, it was a different story. And, you know, like I said, this is made out of wood. I know they have mentioned that it's not the safest. So I am kind of taking my life in my own hands up here. If I fall through, 
I'm landing straight down there. So I'm gonna be smart, knack my age, and walk down so I don't sustain any injuries to me or to the facility. Well, like I said, I feel like a kid in a candy store walking around an old ballpark that I didn't think was accessible. And here I am making a video for you guys. If you like what you see, hit subscribe, like, comment. Anybody can tell me what was there or there or here. Please let me know. I would like to know. It could be a little dangerous. So we'll walk down a little bit. Plus, I don't know. I can't even get out there. Fences. That looks like a concession area. They probably sold food or maybe that was uh, merchandise. And as you notice here that you can't see the action. You had to walk around here. As you can see, this is blocked by uh, a fence. I can't even access that, so. But I can walk here over there. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a labyrinth here. And this is how you would come to your seat and watch baseball. Please share your memories. Share your memories of this ballpark, folks. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, well, I was told I was told by some of the fans here that the county is going to knock the stadium down in November 2022, and this will all be gone. Where I'm standing, where I was sitting, the field will be here, and these guys will continue to play, but this giant 10,000, 12,000 seat stadium will be no more. It will cease to exist. Uh, one good thing about it is that they're going to give away the seats. So if you're looking to have some seats in your home and you have fond memories of this ballpark or you just say, hey, I just want some ballpark seats, uh, you can get a couple of these for free. You just have to ship them out. And uh, I wish I had the tools or devices to open this up and bring it home with me right now because I don't think I'll be back here in November to pick them up. Or maybe I will be. It's football season then, right? Hmm. If you notice that uh, double deck press box, probably one of that one level was the Diamond Club. And as you can tell here, members and guests only, adults only. So not quite sure what the heck was going up there that it was adults only. But if you have any memories or remember attending a game in the Diamond Club here at Ned Skelton, let me know. We want to know what it was like. Are you kidding me? What? From there? Come on. That wasn't rough. Oh, guys. Hold you. Hold you. That wasn't rough. Here you go, Murs. All right, so let's take one last look at the old ballpark. It's gigantic seating areas, gigantic roof. It's funky press box, double decker, and it's left field grandstand. Pretty much a wide open concourse, middle concourse as well. And yeah, they don't build ballparks like they used to, but I'm sure this was a lot of fun for people who grew up uh, checking out the Mudheads. Uh, from the 60s to early 2000s. And that does it for our visit to the old Ned Skelton Stadium here in Maumee, Ohio. One great surprise, and I hope you enjoyed it. So we don't know what the future of this place is going to look like, but we have it captured here during its last days, and it's still housing baseball. Can't complain about that. We'll see you next time. Happy journeys. I'm the Ballpark Hunter. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.